guys, welcome back to my channel. I forgot to film an intro <laughs> before I did this, so this is that intro. I'm going to be doing a divorce photo shoot today. And you're like, what is a divorce photo shoot? Basically, about a year ago, I got sent this news article of this woman who got divorced, dressed up, went into the middle of the woods, and then lit pictures of her ex on fire, and then took all these dramatic photos. And it was so striking, I wanted to recreate it. And you're like, Sarah, are you married? No, I'm not. Sarah, are you divorced? No, I'm not. But it's 2020. You don't have to be married to be divorced. Also, people usually ask, why are you so interested in divorce? I discuss it in the video I made about a year ago, but basically I think society beats into us that, you know, we have to be loyal to people, stick through whatever with people. But I think it's particularly interesting when older women get divorced and they say fuck it and they become like these like stronger, really fully rounded individuals. I don't know, they become cooler. Growing up, people fantasize about getting married. I always fantasize about getting divorced. And you're also like, Sarah, why are you speaking so fast? We had a gas leak earlier and my head is pounding, but I'm perfectly normal right now, I swear. I think. I actually don't know. Hey guys, three things before we get started. First off, I am extremely sunburned because God is a comedian and I'm constantly being heckled. Second thing, I can't turn off the fan because it's connected to the light and if I shut it off, you won't be able to see me. Third thing, I want to light a candle, but we just had a gas leak and I don't know how long you have to wait until the gas dissipates and it's not dangerous anymore. So the sponsor for today's video is Curology because I'm about to have a photo shoot and you need to prep your skin. Curology is a personalized skincare brand. They pair you with a dermatology provider who analyzes your skin, creates a custom prescription formula shipped straight to you, and provides professional guidance on your skincare needs. It's more than just acne, it does preventative anti-aging care as well. For example, I'm 25 and I have both acne and wrinkles. The wrinkles may be due to the sun damage. They have prescription grade ingredients, as well as being certified by Leaping Bunny, so they are cruelty free and vegan. So Sarah, how do I get started with Curology? You upload a makeup free picture of your face and take a skin quiz. Your provider then connects with you and sends a custom skincare bottle to your door. So this is how I incorporate Curology into my skincare routine. So I start off by steaming my pores. I don't know if I should be doing this for the sunburn. Also remember that your formula can change over time if your skin does start to to change. So I take the cleanser, which is the first step. You guys know how to wash your face. Am I right? Step number two is you take the custom prescription formula. It helps with my acne and wrinkles. And after all this burning, I will have a bunch more wrinkles. <laughs> Step number three is you take the rich moisturizer and apply it to your face. So Sarah, this is all amazing. How do we sign up? You use my custom link, obviously. You get your first month free. It's usually $20. You do have to pay $4.95 for shipping and handling, though. Remember that. Curology wants the formula to work for you, so you do have a 90-day money-back guarantee. And if you're not loving it, they'll give you a full refund. Thank you so much, Curology, for sponsoring today's video. Uh, let's get back into it. So I have a Pinterest page for divorce. So let's look at the original, like the inspiration. So there's this woman kneeling down in the woods and something is on fire behind her. I'm not going to be doing that in California because there was just a 7,000 acre fire for a gender reveal party. <laughs> I'm not gonna have another 7,000 acre fire just to like do a divorce photo shoot. What I love about this is that she looks amazing, but the composition, there's something off about this. So there's another one where she's holding up a sign and it's her divorce page. Papers, I assume and she's just smiling and okay I know that the sign is cheesy and it's like part of 2014 2015 like inspirational quote culture but I fucking love this I have I love this concept because here's the thing what I've noticed with straight people is that there are only like certain times throughout their life that they have photo shoots you know like baby announcement weddings when you go on straight tinder and you're a girl looking for a guy the only good pictures guys have are from like weddings. I love when people come up with random reasons to take really nice photos of themselves and getting divorced is one of them. Like just random photo shoot ideas like I'm um, getting my first colonoscopy, you know, adopting a highway. Randomly themed photo shoots is so 
much fun to me. And Divorce is on the cusp of a normal theme and a really strange theme. It's like the Twilight Zone of themes. So this photo inspired who I chose to get divorced from. And I wanted to choose a gay man, so I chose Adam Lambert uh, for no particular reason. I love Adam Lambert. I'm a huge fan of Queen, and he took over the role. Um, he took over Freddie Mercury's part during their entire tour. Huge fan of Adam Lambert, but I think it'd be funny to get divorced from him. Also, a theme of divorce photo shoots are divorce cake, so I made a divorce cake as well, and I'm gonna take you through all those steps. I love it. So fire, the color black, being in the middle of nowhere, taking photos with strange composition and lighting, signage. Yeah, you get the gist. I'm gonna show you my process, what I did to prepare for the photo shoot, and then the photos at the end. <laughs> So these are to a happy birthday sign and I'm going to paint them all black and paint the letters for divorce on it. This is what the top looks like and it would drape across. Okay, so I'm waiting for those to dry and then I'm gonna flip them around and then I got one of these like memo things that's like chalkboard, I've sweated on it. But I'm gonna write, my ex-husband had an awesome wife because I don't know, usually the people getting divorced always hold like a sign like this. Here is final product for the tag. I flipped these over and painted the back so I bought this it says home sweet home and I was gonna paint it all white and then keep like the leaf at the top and the bottom and just put just divorced in giant black text so I painted over home sweet home and I'm gonna leave it right here to dry this says divorce you know Jenna Marble says she is the too much gene I think this is me being too much I just thought about what if this doesn't dry and the paint just falls onto the cake and then I eat paint chips. Pretty sure like eating a little bit of paint is not that bad for you. <laughs> the second coat of white is on here and you know what I'm realizing very quickly? That is just a plank of wood. Stop. That is a plank of wood I spent $50 on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I should have stolen that. So I strung it back together and that's what it looks like. It has E6000 and paint on it, so I can't eat it, obviously, but like I, it can't touch the cake at all. <laughs> We're doing the super moist red velvet cake, which requires one and a fourth cups of water, one half vegetable oil, and three eggs. And I have rich and creamy vanilla, but I wanted to make it black frosting because it is a divorce cake. So people, I went on TikTok live and they advised me to get black icing and then just mix it in with the icing. Hi guys, divorces are creamy. No, um, so I'm also talking to TikTok live. I'm not insane. Damn, what time is it for her? It's, I was like, what time is it? It's 3.50. And then I was like, that can't be right, but it's preheating to 350. One and a fourth cups of water. One. Oh my God, why are there 750 people here? What happened? Okay, so then I need half a cup of vegetable oil. Oh guys, stop. <gasps> no. Okay, so half a cup and then three eggs. 985 people. This is nerve wracking. Okay, they're commenting on my egg cracking. Okay, so now I'm gonna whisk it together. No, I'm not. With a spoon. I'm second guessing myself because there's so many people watching. All right, so we're mixing. This is like really red batter. It reminds me of, you know, like when you get your period. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, damn it. Okay, don't report me. I'm not actually gonna do it. I get banned from TikTok live a lot. I got banned the last time, two times ago, for wearing a really sheer shirt. They said it was inappropriate clothing. And then the second time is because I said a butthole is like a really smooth tube, which it is. And there's the timer. A spoon is not gonna, it is working. I feel like I'm being judged. It's like MasterChef. Got a thousand Gordon Ramsay's to my right. I'm gonna put it in two pans. In two pans, two eight inch rounds. I cooked for 30 to 35 minutes. Anyone wanna lick it? I was about to go like, <laughs> So I have this pan, which is gonna be smaller, and then this pan. They aren't the same size, so I'm kind of worried. Is this eight inches? Does this feel like eight inches to you? Yes, okay. Don't be, stop, get away from her door, go. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I stepped on him on accident, I'm sorry. And this is nine inches, right? Look under the pan, a tag. No, wait, what do you mean? <gasps> For the size, oh my God, this is nine inches. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pour it. I don't wanna pour it all on this one. We don't have an oven handle. Well, we kind of, it's just not connected to the oven. How long does it bake for? 30 minutes, 30 minutes. All right, that's in the... 
oven and we're just gonna wait so I am going to try to make black icing and people on live told me to get this icing so I'm gonna mix it and hopefully it comes out black <clears throat> I should test this before I do it just in case I don't ruin everything we're gonna see if this will work oh it's like green yeah that's like forest green am I why would I assume that I could see better with my glasses off? I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be honest, it's really hard to open an oven when there is no handle. We can feel the anticipation. Ooh. Oh god, why is it so hot? Oh wait, it's from the oven. Okay, so the oven's off. Now we're gonna wait for it to cool, then we're gonna add the icing. Who's your daddy? of my ex-husband, which is just going to be Adam Lambert. Okay, so we drove to... <laughs> right next to the DMV. I wanted to use our parking lot, but it looks like it's gated. So we're just gonna make a couple trips, but that's what we're gonna do right now. DMV on fire. <laughs> and then get our passports. 